Yeah, I would say a very um, frustrated Michel Barnier we just saw in the press conference there, very much uh, dismissing some of the reports coming out of the UK, which are that the EU is uh, somehow demanding that the UK abide by the level playing field standards or standards, the EU standards on the environment, uh, labour laws, on state aid rules and taxation, uh, that the UK is saying that the EU is only demanding this now and is only demanding it of the UK. It doesn't demand it of other uh, countries that it's done trade agreements with, like Canada, for example, or Japan. Michel Barnier dismissing all of this coming from the UK, saying if you look and read the political declaration and the withdrawal agreement, Boris Johnson himself, the Prime Minister of the UK, agreed to comply with all of these level playing field standards. And that's really uh, a, a very much a red line of the European Union. Even though the negotiations are supposed to start on Monday, it, it's hard to see how this uh, issue uh, cannot be insurmountable at this point. So 10 months to go, they need to try to figure this out by the end of the year. How are they going to compromise? You've got two very different positions here. Exactly. And that was actually the question I'd asked Michel Barnier, the EU's lead negotiator. The sides appear very far apart. And he essentially erupted and said, well, hold on, we're not. If you read the political declaration, we both, we all agreed that the UK is geographically so close to the EU. Um, it has so much uh, economic independence of the EU. And the EU is also offering it uh, an excellent free trade agreement, zero tariffs, zero quotas, and as much access to the single market as is possible. Uh, and the, UK, the EU says we've always been on this page and it's the UK that appears to be backsliding on this issue. Uh, priorities involve obviously getting through this matter of level playing field and also the, uh, the, the very thorny emotional issue about fishing because uh, fishing is a, a very important issue to many of the coastal states uh, within the European Union. It's also a very emotive issue for the UK and it's very much an area that the UK holds all the cards. The EU wants by July 1st an agreement on fishing so that the EU's uh, boats can still Still access UK waters just like they do right now, and that is going to be a um, very, very hard area to negotiate.